back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So real quick before this video begins, I hit 20,000 subscribers back earlier in May. I think it was like May 1st or 2nd. By the way, thank you guys so much for 20,000 subscribers. It honestly blows my mind that so many of you guys have chosen to support me and subscribe to this channel. Uh, but part of being a YouTuber is knowing what kind of videos your audience likes the most and what kind of videos spark the most conversation. So if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, if you guys could let me know by leaving a like and comment on this video, that would really help me out in knowing what videos to make more of in the future so I can provide the most entertaining and just content that I know my audience will enjoy. So if you, if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and drop a comment. It really will help me out and I just... I enjoy reading your guys' comments, so if you guys can help me out and leave a like and comment, I would really, really appreciate that. As I said, it really will help me out in providing the best content I can for you guys in the future. But anyway, now that that is out of the way, let's talk about today's video, and that is, is Ty being replaced in Heartland Season 15? Now, when I say Ty being replaced, Personally, I don't think he is. I will explain why uh, later in this video, but I have seen uh, some posts on social media claim, or not claiming, but like of people expressing, I guess, that they don't want Ty to be replaced or that Amy can't have a new relationship because it will feel like they are replacing Ty. And guys, I get it, okay? I do. I understand that Amy and Ty are really important to a lot of Heartland fans. I know that for some of you guys, Amy and Ty and their relationship is the whole reason you guys watched Heartland in the first place. In fact, some of you have told me that you're going to stop watching Heartland because Ty is no longer a part of the show and therefore Amy and Ty's relationship is not the main part of the show anymore and that you're, you guys have stopped watching or you're not going to watch season 15 because Ty won't be in the show. Now, I understand that. I do. Um, but you guys know that I'm not the biggest fan of Amy and Ty. So that is not something that is reason enough for me to stop watching Heartland. I don't stop watching shows a lot unless something happens that I really, really, really don't like. For example, even even if Lou left the show, I probably would not stop watching because I know that the writers have a plan for the future of the show. And so when it comes to Ty being replaced in season 15, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't think that Amy's going to have a new love interest anytime soon. I think that the writers are very aware of the fact that Amy and Ty's relationship was very special and really important to a lot of Heartland fans and I don't think they want to, one, disrespect Amy and Ty's relationship but also, uh, you know, upset the fans that have watched Amy and Ty's relationship for the past uh, 14 years. So, I don't think Amy's going to have a relationship anytime soon, but I do think that uh, she is going to have a relationship eventually. Guys, the show has to uh, move on. It has to progress. I think that the Heartland writers and creators have a uh, way forward with this show that I think is going to be phenomenal. The Heartland writers are so, so good at writing this story, at writing Amy's story and all the characters. And I think that uh, the writers, along with Amber Marshall, I think they're going to do uh, a fantastic job with Amy's character uh, in season 15 and hopefully uh, in many more seasons to come. Now, when it comes to Amy having a new love interest. I do not think that Amy will have a love interest in season 15. However, one thing to keep in mind is that there is a time jump at the beginning of Heartland season 14 
and at the end of Heartland Season 14. So if for some reason you were unaware or maybe you did not catch this when you were watching the episodes, when Ty dies in Heartland Season 14, Episode 1, it opens with Ty's with Ty's death scene of where we see him like, you know, collapse and die and that. And then there is actually uh, a one year time jump. So we see Ty's death, that's how the season opens. A very emotional opening, I might add, to a fantastic season as well, I might add. But uh, we see Ty's death and then uh, the rest of the the events of Heartland Season 14 take place a year after Ty's death. And then in the Heartland Season 14 season finale, or Episode 10, there is also a six-month time jump as well. So, um, Heartland Season 15 will probably at least take place six months after the events of the ending of Heartland Season 14. Was that confusing let's hope not so there is a significant time period uh since ty's death time has passed in the show uh at least a year and six months has passed since ty's death in the show so it's not like amy would be moving on really really fast it's been at least a year and six months probably more by the time heartland season 15 starts and we know the time period of season 15 but there's been at least a year and six months uh time frame since ty's death because the year uh following Ty's death and the events of Heartland season 14, and then the six months later that we saw in the end of Heartland season 14, episode 10. So, I'm not the biggest fan of time jumps, but they are there, and we have to keep that in mind. So, when it comes to Amy having a new relationship, I don't think it's going to be in season 15. I don't think the writers would do that, but it is possible that a new relationship or maybe it will start off as a friendship uh with a new guy could happen in heartland season 15 it could i'm not saying that it will but it could um but to be completely honest with you guys with you guys i don't think the writers are going to do that um if anything i i do think that amy will have another relationship um but i don't think it'll be anytime soon as i've said but I think the writers are going to take Amy's new relationship very, 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 very slow uh, because they don't want to upset Heartland fans, which, thank you. Um, now, who could her relationship be? Personally, I would love to see it be Sam or Cooper. Now, out of those two, I would hope that it's Sam. Sam's character in season 14 there was a lot we don't know about him. Uh, he has kind of a mysterious, dark uh, backstory or, um, you know, kind of mystery surrounding his whole entire character and what happened to him in the past. So I would love to see that as I'm a fan of dramatic characters and dramatic storylines and stuff like that but i can also see it being cooper the only thing about that is that i think cooper i don't know i i feel like i don't know i feel like cooper is like really similar to ty in the way that he's working with troubled kids he's you know working um doing horse therapy with troubled kids and i can see amy getting uh you know involved with that and working with him i just don't know if they would work as a couple um and personally i would like to see amy with sam more than cooper but i am a fan of cooper's character so if the writers do go down that road i am not going to complain i just i just hope they uh don't rush Amy in, into a relationship because I know that will upset a lot of Heartland fans. Would it upset me? In all honesty, no. Um, because again, those time jumps are in effect. Remember, it's been a year and six months at least since Ty's death. If I'm understanding the time jumps correctly. Now, 
it is possible I could be wrong. Maybe it hasn't been that long, but there was a year time jump uh, at the beginning of the season. And then, uh, you know, at the end of the season, it came up on the screen six months later, you know, when she was rebuilding the course and stuff. So I'm pretty sure it's been a year and six months at least. Um, and then that is going to be probably when Heartland Season 15 picks up. So it's at least a year and six months, probably maybe more, possibly more. So uh, I don't think Amy would be rushing into a relationship. I don't think the writers would do that. But in all honesty, is it really rushing into a relationship if it's a year and six months? I don't know. I guess that's... Uh, I guess everyone could have an opinion on that. Is it rushing? Is it not? I don't know. Uh, personally, I wouldn't be upset if Amy has a relationship in season 15. But I honestly don't think they're going to do that. I think the writers are going to be very careful about introducing Amy into a new relationship just because they know how important Amy and Ty were to a lot of Heartland fans. So that is all I have for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, again, make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. It really does help me out, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.